Most people in life know when they launch something. Most people also know the storyline behind how they got it together, how they made it work, what they did to produce things, and openly how they wrote their contracts. I have thumb drives that have a lot of intellectual content on it that were commandeered by a Marion County Sheriff's Office and never returned to me. Two bags of my things were placed there. Another two plus bags plus my wheelchair was placed by an Indianapolis famous old time reporter who I met casually on the street. His wife just came over and started talking to me with their dog in their hands. I know her name. I know his name. I know generally the type of car that they were driving. I also know they were impoverished and fighting poverty like me. I wasn't supposed to be going off to jail that day, so they were going to just hold my stuff for half a day, and then I was going to call him. But when I got to jail, the sheriff took my journal, so I didn't have the phone number that I was just learning. And that man never gave his name. He stood in the sidelines behind the courtroom where an officer, Oliver, who was beautiful and black, took my clothes off and literally took my bags from me. But they didn't give me a full-on list of my property. They just wrote two bags, two duffel bags. And what I know is that when I was in jail, one of the officers whose, whose name tag read Sam, which is S-A-H-M, and I didn't really believe that was her name, unless she was somehow related to the famous Psalms in our community, but openly she walked in and out to pick me up for my shower or whatnot with my sunglass or my eyeglasses on. God had asked me to get a zany and crazy kind of pair of eyeglasses as a backup, and that woman had those glasses on. Openly I was constantly being sort of harangued and moved around the jail, which is somewhat true, but I also spent a hell of a lot of time in solitary, that was true. I definitely know I lost three days when I was there, but since I've been here in this community, somebody has been abusive to me, and they've been cutting my beard off, and I am pissed off. I grew my beard for my faith in God. I have a right to be a priest. I have a right to be a minister. I have two licenses for that, but some bitch from Staples has been passing out my content. I want to know who took my fucking thumb drives from me. I want to know who took the and stole the brochure on my my thumb drive for me. If it was a man from a shelter here, see you at home, then he should go to fucking jail. Because if he's shaved his head and grown a beard to look like me, he's a fucking idiot. But if you want to test somebody on whether or not they're me, ask him about the history of everything that he's designed. Everything he's done. Ask him. Ask him where the original uh, dining place was that we did our, our breakfast. Ask him where we moved after that. Ask him where he went to network. Ask him who he knows in the community. Ask him the name of his wife and where he met her. Ask him the city in which he lived overseas. Ask him.